Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be doing some uh, right front tire grooving um, for a tire wheel that we got, 1350 and above. And uh, I'm going to show you how I cut up a tire to make it work in some very slimy, muddy conditions. So, uh, check it out. So, I like to mark my tires before I, I groove them. And I've got a jig here set up to where I can mark them and groove them. And uh, it really helps out keeping them straight and consistent. I set my grooves anywhere between 35 and 40 degrees. That seems to work pretty good for me and my driver and everything. So, uh, like I said, it helps keep the groove cons and uh, works good. Works good for me and uh, it's quick. Some people don't do it, but uh, I like to do it. All right, so I've went and I've blocked my tire and I've blocked it again on the outer edges. So this way. You know, I can maximize my grip with the outer edge when it's, you know, when it's in body work. Because you run a lot of camera in these late models. And uh, you're usually running on these three blocks most of the time. And there's so much camera gain in the tire that, you know, once it goes in the roll, until it goes in the corner, you're just running off these three blocks. So, like I said, on, on this tire here, this is a tire roll tire. This is where we're going is a 13, 15 above. And... And sometimes you get in a situation where you could bolt 1100 on, you know, the stickiest tire you could possibly get and still not be soft enough at times. So what I'm trying to do here is maximize the tire. So as far as the grooving part, this is done. But like I said, I went through with a three, come back with a two, and, uh, you know, that way I can maximize my edges. And I'm going to come back and scythe the same pattern, a little bit more aggressive on the scythe on these blocks as well. One of the best little inventions for tire siphoning, other than your standard grooving iron, is uh, this Van Alsting Manufacturing multi site It's probably one of the best tools in my arsenal to, uh, to sop a tire. You can do, I think it's like 18 blades at once if you want to. Uh, very rarely do I have to do that, but it's good for <clears throat> multi siphon you can set each one at different depths if that's desired you can do them all at the same depth you can do them different spaces it's just a really good multifunctional tool to uh, siphon any tire for any you know sport that allows tire grooming pretty cool little tool this fat housing tool is really handy really handy and like i said it's got like little breakaway razor blades you put in it and uh, you just set them at the right depth. Don't go too deep. Don't go to where you're cutting the uh, inner part of the tire. And it works real good. And right here I'm coming back with the uh, iron and, and making my single sipes across my inner blocks and everything. So that Van Alsting tool works really good. You should uh, invest one if you do a lot of multi-grooving or siphon. Alright, so I've got my right front tire grooved up here. And uh, like I said, it's an aggressive, very aggressive groove for a tire roll for a muddy track. So check out what we got here. We got blocked, 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 blocked this way. This is a nine block right here. It's cut all the way as deep as you can go this way and about half dip this way on this one. This one is a six block. Deep as you can go this way, deep as you can go this way. This is a four block. The reason I've done less is because you always get more heat on your inner three right here. So you want to, you know, you generate more heat and more friction here and less and less and less as you go out. So you want to try to maximize these three edges when you get into max roll and you need all that front grip you can get, especially in the mud, you know. So hope you guys got it, something out of this and uh, good luck.